Welcome back heroes to some more Shining Fates unboxing today. You can tell by the title, we got another Elite Trainer box to open. Another 10 packs, another crack at getting uh, the cards we want. So what we want, Skylar, Phalanx, Shining Phalanx V, uh, obviously Charizard. What want mine a Lapras, I want Piers, uh, I want Pokekid. There's a lot of cards in this set. I want, I, I want all the Shiny Pokemon as well because it's just getting Shiny Pokemon is so fun. Like Shining Fates is just... It's the same kind of feeling I got, or I get when I open Hidden Fates. Not as much, but it's still, it's up there, it's up there. It's like, if Hidden, Hates, if Hidden Fates is a 10, Shining Fates is easily like a, an 8 minimum. Maybe a 9. We have 10 packs. Hopefully we pull something good. Uh, I have some sleeves on the side ready. Because, so far, Shining Fates has treated me so, so well. If you haven't watched the, uh, the previous videos, go and check them out. Because we got some pretty banging pulls. So I'm going to start off with one pack. Get right into this. And hopefully, 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 we get the cards I want. The good thing is, though, I, I was looking at singles on eBay. Just see the price of some cards. Because usually, if I can't, if I buy a lot of product and I can't get the cards I want, I just buy, I just buy the single. Because I really want it. So I was looking at Phalanx and Shiny Phalanx. Oh my god, these packs. Oh, there you go. That's so hard to get into. Uh, the Phalanx has keep keeps going down in price. It's getting cheaper and cheaper. So uh, if I don't pull it, I don't mind because I can just buy it real cheap, which is real good. I think the Shiny Phalanx is about six pound, and the Shiny Phalanx V was about twelve pound fifty. Is the cheapest I saw. So hopefully they keep going down, or we pull one. I don't mind. I don't mind if the the, the price goes like rock bottom. It's like ninety nine p, and I pull it. Like if I pull it. Fantastic. I just want the card. My, one of my favorite Pokemon. Gotta have it shiny. So reverse Q-Fan and then a Celebi. Start off with a dud pack. Ugh. Terrible, terrible, terrible. But it's fine. We've got none more packs open, so um, I'm not too worried. Also, apparently, I need to oh, double check everything, but I saw some people on Twitter talking about... Oh, geez, these packs are so well sealed. I saw people talking about how um, don't buy single packs of um, Shannon Fates because these can be uh, weighed. And uh, obviously, people are going to take the heavier packs and sell you the lighter packs. So you get, you know, you get nothing and they get all the good stuff. And unfortunately, from a site which um, not all my pre-orders for Shannon Fates has arrived, some of it got delayed, they sold single packs and I bought six. <laughs> so I'm hoping... Um, I'm hoping they don't weigh the packs. I, I doubt they will because it's a, it's a store, but you never know. You never know. But we'll see when we open them six packs, hopefully. You know, they're not all six duds. Oh, let's go. Oh, and a more pack of VMAX. Yes. Oh, let's go, dude. Oh, turn this V gold. Oh, that's beautiful, dude. Oh, that's so beautiful. Let's put that in. Oh, wow. That is one of the cards I wanted, and it just, that's so nice. I was not expecting that. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, this is just shining feats. You love me, and I love you. This is like, I'm never getting this luck again, ever. Shining Fates is just, it's my best set, hands down. Whew. Like a Eternatus, I'm not gonna lie. I think he's all right. Not, I wouldn't rate him at that high with the legendaries. I think compared to other legendaries, he's quite low to me. But that golden black card, oh, chef's kiss. So I got to do the hand, mwah, chef's kiss. You got to just, you know, put your hands like that onto your lips and mwah. That's how you do a chef's kiss. But, oh, dude. Next pack. Oh, and turn to see is a chef's kiss. Right. But yeah, for Shadow of Fates, I think what I have coming is um, my Crobat V box got cancelled, so I got the Shiny Dragapult box, and um, I got I had both of them pre-ordered, but only the Shiny Dragapult got through. Uh, Crobat got cancelled, two of the pin collections got cancelled, and a tin got cancelled, which is really unfortunate. But if I can uh, get hold of them, that'd be great. We'll see. Snom, and then we have a 
Grookey, and then a what's his orders? Another dud. It's fine. <laughs> After that gold eternatus, I don't care what we pull right now, honestly. But uh, still to come, I think yeah, shiny dragon V box. I got five mini tins, and I think there's a collection that hasn't really been revealed yet. It's just um, I think it's just called a premium collection, which uh, obviously later on down the line we might find out what the uh, the promo is for it. Don't know how many packs you get in it, but I had that pre-ordered. Because a lot of times, like Shining Fates, like things will go up for pre-order, and you don't even know what's in the promo set. You just know, it's like for example, when I pre-ordered the tins, it was tin A, tin B, and then it turned out to be three tins, and then we'll see. I only got two of the tins, which sucked. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. So more Shining Fates to come on the channel. Oh, Shiny Cramorant, dude, Cramorant gets way too much love in this uh, in this set. You got Cramorant Common, Cramorant V, Cramorant V Max, Shiny Cramorant, and then I've got over here still the promo card for Cramorant V. I got a lot, and then we got a oh, Holy Frost Moth. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, let's go. But still, Shiny Pokemon. Like, I want to get all the Shiny Pokemon. It's going to be hard. It's going to be creepy. I don't even bother. I should probably save the hollows. I never really save the hollows too much unless I, I really like them. I usually just put them with the commons. But, uh, yeah. What was I saying now? <laughs> Collecting all the shinies is going to be... It's going to be long. And it's going to be... Not just long, it's going to be really hard as well. Because getting Shining Fates product is... Obviously, as you know, incredibly difficult. But I'm hopeful for the future. I think we're going to get... Lots of reprints of Shining Fates. Like, I'd, I do not mind. I hope this happens. I hope we get enough reprints of Shining Fates where, like for example, I think the Charizard, this Charizard right here, is worth like I think a thousand pound at the moment. I would not mind if it was worth twenty pound because so much Shining Fates stock came out. I don't care. I, I want to get the cards because I like the look of the cards. I, I like collecting stuff. You see my room. I got loads of things. That if, loads of different things I collect, and just Pokemon cards is. I mean, I mean. I collected them when I was a kid, obviously, I think everyone did. But I really got back into collecting Pokemon cards back five years ago, actually. During the 25th, ooh, not 25th, 20th anniversary. The Manaphy really got an amazing rare Ashram. So, I mean, again, more is nice. But the 20th anniversary when the Pokemon Generation set released, that had that pulled me back into Pokemon. Like, how probably a lot of people are feeling right now, getting back into Pokemon cards and the excitement of opening cards, I felt five years ago. So I like I can't blame them for like wanting to buy everything. I mean at the time I I probably if I could I would. I mean I bought like a lot of Shining Legends, um, generations like generations I completed that set. I managed to like not just buy the singles but I, I managed to pull every single card out of that set. That's how much I bought. Because I just I, I just enjoyed playing the cards, playing the well, playing the cards, owning the cards. And generations are really like good set. I think it's like. Under um, under hyped. That's not the right word. It's uh, underappreciated. Like generations is a really cool set. It's got a lot, a lot of cool artwork in. A lot of my like favorite card artwork I like is from that set. I think at some point I might do like a my top ten favorite cards in my collection just to show you guys some some cool cards because a lot of them are from generations. And then we're gonna have the oh, reverse Shinx and then a yeah mega. Okay, quite a few duds in this. Uh, Bleach in a box, but again, I'm not mad. Wait, why is that? Oh, it's because that's um, yeah, the hollow I sleeved up. Like, I'm not mad after... We've got four hits. Cannot complain. Cannot complain. The only thing that, like, makes me a little bit sad is that oh, the amazing rares... <laughs> I love these so much. I love the artwork. Like, I hype these up a lot. I think they're just... They're beautiful. I feel like they're not... They're called amazing rares, but... Let's be honest... They're not really that rare. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I can get them easy though, because you know they look great. But I think they just you know get rid of the name rare because they're they're quite common really. <laughs> right, so got Tropius Rusted Shield, got that Rotom Coffin, Gossifleur, Cagnia, uh, Tudel, Eevee, and oh Team Yowtow, and then Zerud, another dud. Oh my goodness, dude! This is the most duds I've had in a set, but. Again, this bad boy, I'm not, I'm not angry. 
I'm not mad. All right, Toxtricity next. Ooh, come on, dude. Let's pull something good right now. What do I want? Shiny for links. That is what I want. I'll just be happy with that. So we have energy, a rusted sword, a looks here. I love the lightning in the background, it looks so cool. Uh spinner rack, shinx, coffin, horsey, grookey, and uh, reverse float sword, and then ooh, crowbat V. Not bad, not bad. Let's just leave this up. Not really too uh, fussed about that because the shiny crowbat you get in um the promo. And I got a shiny crowbat in the Japanese shiny star V, so um yeah, kind of like a dupe kind of. Alright, second to last pack. Come on. Give us that love. Where's the online code? Here we go. I'm feeling we're gonna get a shiny. Like a shiny like uh that sort of shiny. So we've got energy, Luxio, Fawaki, Bull Guy, Spinarak, Shinx, Horsey, Yanma, Morpeko, and I told you we'll get a shiny Santa Conda and then a boss's order to go with that. I love I just love the artwork and I love the texture, how it feels. So cool. And I just felt like we'd get a shiny. Alright, so last pack. Last pack magic. The Zard pack. Can we pull the Zard? Let's hope. Let us hope. Just love that sound as well. The sound of opening packs. So satisfying. So there is the code. One, two, three, four. To the front for the last time. So we have. Please don't be a dud pack. <laughs> That'd be so anticlimactic. Got Floatzel, Dartrix, Rotom, Nicket, Gossifleur, Cacnea, Cufent, Weasel, and. Oh, oh reverse this dud pack, isn't it? It's a dud pack to end. Oh. oh, well, I'm not that mad because we pulled. The Eternatus V. Oh, dude, that's so beautiful. Such a beautiful card. I kind of want to get the um, the Zassian and Zama Center like premium collection box, but it's a hundred pound for sixteen packs. But you do get like a gold and black version of um, Zassian and Zama Center that looks really nice. But the packs, ah, nothing really. I want out of the packs to be honest. So it's like kind of just uh, I'm spending all that money just to get the two cards, which to be honest, it, it kind of I kind of want to do, but at the same time, actually I don't even don't know if it's even out or I can even pick it up because I know it got delayed in the UK a lot because it was supposed to come out in I think October, got delayed to like December, then I think it got delayed to January, and I don't know if it got delayed again. I would assume so because it seems like everything's been delayed. But anyway, that's not bad, not bad at all. So hopefully the next shining. Fates stuff will come, will arrive soon. If not, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, lockdown ends soon, stores open up, and I can just um, try and at least get, like if stores open up, I'm gonna go and try and get some stuff, but I'm mainly gonna, I wanna get the two pink collections I missed, and then I wanna get the shiny Edelgoss tin, and the shiny Crobat V box. That's what I wanna try and get, but, Honestly, I think with how things are at the moment, I'll probably take what I can get. <laughs> Got six pulls. I'm happy with that. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.